What's the difference between meteors, asteroids, and comets? Let's take a look at how they travel and form. I am a comet, which is a body of ice, also rock and dust. To be precise, I can be several miles in diameter, mostly ranging from 10 to 100 kilometers for short. I do orbit the sun just like planets and asteroids do. I have a very elongated orbit, it's true. Comets materialized 4.5 billion years ago from dust and gas. That's how my tail forms. I'm a meteoroid. I am found in space. I range in size from a small asteroid to a small dust grain. Meteoroids are thought to form from the collision of asteroids in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter's void. I become a meteor when I burn up in the atmosphere. That's when you see a shooting star or a fireball near. If I survive this burning of entry through your atmosphere and hit the ground, I'm called a meteorite, I share. I'm an asteroid, I'm sometimes called a minor planet to some. I'm a rocky leftover from the formation of the solar system. I do orbit the sun, I do range in size from a dust particle to 600 miles wide. I probably consist of clay and silicon rocks, you know. I'm dark in appearance and ancient as far as the solar system goes. The difference between us is quite substantial. We will tell you what this is so you understand in full. A meteoroid is a space rock the size of a grain of dust or a small asteroid, but we can't talk. A comet is an object made of ice and dust. How fun! Often with a gas halo and tail that orbits the sun. An asteroid is an ancient rock from the formation of the place you live called the solar system. What's the difference? between meteors, asteroids, and comets. Let's take a look at how they travel and form. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. There are three kinds of rocks on Earth you will see. Igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. Our world is full of these rocks on land and in the sea. Igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. I'm a main type of rock. My name is Igneous. I am the first main type of rock of the three of us. Igneous rocks form when volcanic magma cools, either at the Earth's surface or inside Earth's crust high school. When magma cools slowly under Earth's surface, it's called intrusive igneous rock. It's worth knowing this. But when magma cools on the surface of the Earth, it's called extrusive igneous rock. Now let's move forth. Here here are some examples of igneous rock, basalt, rhyolite, and obsidian we don't really talk. Igneous rock makes up 95% of the earth's surface. This has been time well spent. I'm a type of rock called sedimentary. Let's break down the meaning of my name to learn about me. Sediment, small particles of sand or organic material that settle at the bottom of water or land as gravity pulls. Sedimentary rock forms when sediment builds up over time. It's compressed into layers, forming rocks till their prime. You can find lots of fossils in sedimentary rock. When plant and animal remains are squished in layers in which we had just talked. Here are some examples of the rock called sediment. 
sedimentary limestone, sandstone, and shale are three you can now see. I'm a type of rock called metamorphic. I am one of the main types of rock, to be more specific. Metamorphosis means to change and I'm transformed by heat and pressure from existing rocks. Here is more about me. Any type of rock can become metamorphic when transformed by extreme heat and pressure like this. Metamorphic rocks form deep within the Earth's crust where temperatures and pressures are high. It's a must. Here are some examples of metamorphic rock I'll show. Lapis lazuli, schist, and beautiful marble. There are three kinds of rocks on Earth you will see. Igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. Our world is full of these rocks on land and in the sea. Igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. Let's be more specific. Let's learn about the rock type of metamorphic. Metamorphic rocks can originate from any type of rocks, including sedimentary, igneous, or other metamorphic rocks. Metamorphism is when a rock is reshaped. I admit, this only happens in an extreme climate. These climates occur deep in the earth on top, where pressure builds up or temperatures get real hot. A rock can even be reshaped by being close to magma iron form. If the rock does not melt, it will be transformed. Extreme heat and pressure can change a rock's face. Deep in the earth where these changes can take place. Common types of metamorphic rocks are included in full. Phyllite, schist, nice, quartzite, and marble. There are a wide variety of metamorphic rocks that can be found in nature and remember they are created deep underground. Rocks, rock, but let's be more specific. Let's learn about the rock type of metamorphic. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. Rocks, rock, let's talk about igneous rock. They make up a significant portion of the Earth's crust as I talk. Igneous rocks are one of the three main types of rocks on Earth. The other two are sedimentary and metamorphic. Let's move forward. Molten rock called lava reaches the Earth's surface And molten rock called magma is below the Earth's surface When this molten rock material cools and becomes solid This is when igneous rocks form Now you know this Rocks, rock, let's talk about igneous rock They make up a significant portion of the Earth's crust as I talk Igneous rocks are one of the three main types of rocks on Earth the other Two are sedimentary and metamorphic, let's move forward. Igneous rocks can have various textures you see, which are classified into two primary categories. Intrusive igneous rocks form below the Earth's surface. When magma cools slowly, I'm glad you've learned this. Extrusive igneous rocks form on the surface of the Earth. When lava cools quickly above the ground, of course. Let's talk about igneous rock. They make up a significant portion of the Earth's crust as I talk. Igneous rocks are one of the three main types of rocks on Earth. The other two are sedimentary and metamorphic. Let's move forward. Examples of igneous rocks are what you'll learn next. Granite is the first. You've heard of this one, I bet. Then we have basalt with its fine grain texture. Obsidian and pumice are the third and sure. Rocks, rock, let's talk about igneous rock. They make up a significant portion of the 
Get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. Rocks rock! These are sedimentary! One of the three main types of rocks on Earth you're about to see. When sedimentary rocks form, they accumulate and are compressed. And sediments are cemented over time, I do confess. There are five main steps for sedimental rocks to form. We will look at each step, learn while I inform. Rocks rock! These are sedimentary. One of the three main types of rocks on earth you're about to see. Weather rings when rocks are broken down into smaller particles through wind, water, and temperature. These changes are natural. Erosion's the transportation of weathered particles by wind, water, ice, and gravity in water and land they are pulled. That positions when the sediment is deposited and accumulates in layers over time in riverbeds, ocean, deserts, and lakes. Rocks rock! These are sedimentary! One of the three main types of rocks on earth you're about to see! Sedimentary rocks can be put into three main categories, you know! Let's look at each one as they are shown! Plastic sedimentary rocks are rocks that consist of sandstone, shale, and conglomerate. Now you know this. Chemical sedimentary rocks are what you see now. These consist of limestone and rock salt. Of this I do vow. Organic sedimentary rocks of this I do condone. Examples include coal and some types of limestone. Rocks rock! These are sedimentary! One of the three main types of rocks on Earth you're about to see! Shop our new store merch! And get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters! Chamber. It's a large pool of liquid rock which lies beneath the surface of the earth where pressure builds when it is blocked. The main vent is the main outlet for the magma to escape. Secondary vents are smaller outlets for the magma to release and change landscapes. The crater is a roughly circular depression in the ground caused by volcanic activity. It's where most of the lava is found. Layers of ash and lava make up this mountainous cone shape. I'll tell you how a volcano works first let's see where most take place most active volcanoes occur at boundaries between tectonic plates most are found in the ring of fire that encircles the pacific ocean today the stratovolcanoes are the most destructive they're common type of eruptions called plinian which is highly dangerous and explosive stratovolcanoes are most commonly found in subduction zones i'll explain what this is in this animation that is shown Subduction zones are boundaries between two tectonic plates where the ocean plate is sinking into the mantle beneath another tectonic plate. I am a volcano. I'd love it if you learn a bit more about me. I am a volcano. You can find me on land or in the sea. Subduction zone, a thick oceanic plate slides under a thicker continental plate. The oceanic plate is saturated with water, which it drags down into the earth around 60 miles deep. That water that is trapped inside is then released. This reduces the melting point of the surrounding rock, allowing it to melt. This melted rock cools as it rises up the main vent, it is felt. That magma that reaches the surface is silica rich and thick. The gases released while melting get 
trapped in large bubbles like this When one of these bubbles reaches the surface it does burst Which causes an explosive volcanic eruption at its worst The smoke's a mix of water vapor, carbon dioxide, sulfur, gas, and ash The lava flow runs down the volcano, destroying all in its path I hope you enjoyed this lesson that was given to you Please like this video and comment below after this song is through I am a volcano I'd love it if you'd learn a bit more about me I am a volcano You can find me on land or in the sea Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. What is a cave? And how do they form? We'll look at the most common types of caves and how the rocks deformed. This is a solution cave. It's the most common type of cave you see. They form by groundwater dissolving the rock very slowly. Solution caves begin with droplets of rain These droplets pick up carbon dioxide from the air I explain When these droplets seep into soil They absorb more CO2 and form a weak carbonic acid in the soil They push through when carbonic acid comes into contact with calcium carbonate It's on Carbon atoms are broken forming by carbonate and free calcium ions This chemical weathering process is what makes the rocks dissolve Dissolution is the name of what this process is called Dissolution can occur with evaporite rocks as well But water can break those atomic bonds without being acidic, I do tell Fractures in the rock that the water dissolves Increases in size over thousands of years Forming a cave as it evolves Mammoth Cave in Kentucky is a national park It's the longest cave on earth over 400 miles through the rock What is a cave? And how do they form? We'll look at the most common types of caves and how the rocks deformed. Thanks for watching KLT! Please subscribe to this channel, like our videos, and check out the KLT merch store!